Okay guys, in this video I will talk about the foundation beam that normally is used in strip cutting. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefit. Right? Okay. So before talking about the foundation beam that is being used in strip foundation, I would just like to recap the concept of any continuous beam. Okay, so let's say this is the continuous beam, this is one support, this is another support, this is another support. Okay, and this beam actually can be any roof beam, and this support is nothing but column. Okay, so this is column. All of these are columns. Now you are applying some load like this, maybe point load, maybe UDL, or any type of load. Okay, so what is the bending moment diagram for this type of continuous beam? Simply, you know that at the support you will have some bending moment at the span you will have some and the final bending moment will look like something like this okay so this is the sagging or positive bending moment and this are the hogging or negative bending moment and what is the meaning of this the meaning is that if you have some concrete beam like this okay due to this uh, sagging bending moment the crack will be occurred at the bottom and due to this hogging bending moment the crack will be occurred at the top any confusion very basic okay so to design this concrete beam what you have to do just you have to put some extra river at the top here here and here okay or you can say that at the uh, region of hogging bending moment and for the sagging bending moment at the bottom also you have to put some extra river okay and the final drawing looks something like this okay here you can see okay let me erase this one okay so here you can see that we have put some extra river at this support top and at this support top why because due to this hogging bending moment and also we need to provide some extra bottom river in this location which is not shown in this diagram okay so this is the basic concept of any continuous rcc of course today's video is related to rcc so this is the basic concept for designing any rcc continuous beam okay but the foundation beam is not like that why well before talking about the differences between foundation beam and the normal RCC roof beam, just I would like to mention you why actually foundation beam is needed at all. Okay, so let's say these are the column location, this is the column location, and this is the column location. Okay, and the column load is also very high. The load is high. The safe bearing capacity of the soil is not that much good. The safe bearing capacity is very uh, mediocre or low, okay. But uh, economically, it is not possible to provide the deep foundation like pile, okay. So in that case, what you have to do, you cannot support the structure by using some pocket foundation or isolated foundation, okay. So in that case, what you have to do, you have to provide the steep foundation. And in the steep foundation, let's say this is one loading point and this is another loading point okay so due to these two load what will happen uh, let's say this is one loading point this is another loading point you will have some footing strip footing like this without any foundation beam. so what will happen due to this huge load there will be some reaction from the underneath okay so this is the pressure coming from the soil right and due to this pressure what will happen yes it will bend like this so now it is bending like this okay so due to this huge bending moment the requirement the thickness requirement for this strip footing is very much high so to avoid that huge thickness what you can do just strengthen this slab 
just strengthen this footing slab by providing some beam that's it that is the reason why foundation beam is used in steep footing right so now it is clear to you that if there is huge load coming from the column the thickness requirement of the foundation slab is high due to the huge bending moment that is being occurring due to the pressure coming from the underneath of the footing okay udl from soil okay so to avoid this huge thickness what you can do just strengthen this foundation slab by providing some beam okay so if we look into the foundation beam so this is the foundation beam actually okay and below this foundation beam let use some different color this is the slab okay so this is the slab and this one is the foundation beam and above this one we have load like this this is one column this is another column let's say this is another column okay but now the load is coming from this column and the reaction force is coming from the bottom okay so what is the bending moment diagram for this foundation beam okay just pause this video and try to construct it by yourself okay so bending moment diagram for this foundation beam is something like this let's say this is the foundation beam this is one support this is another support and this is another support okay so the bending moment will be like this one okay okay so here this is tension so cracking will be occurred here this are the cracked zone this are the cracked zone at bottom okay so these are the crack zone in bottom so in case of a normal beam what happened this was the support and we had load coming from top right and the crack were here okay and here so in the support zone the cracks were at top but here at support zone these are the support zone in the support zone the cracks are at the bottom the major difference right and at the span the cracks were at the bottom for a normal rcc roof beam but for a foundation beam at the span that means in this region the cracks are at the top okay so now the detailing for this foundation beam is completely different or you can say completely opposite compared to this rcc roof beam okay so that's it if you love this video don't forget to share it